What's up, everyone? It's Chicks in the Office with Rhea and Fran. Finally, you made it to the 100th episode. You guys have been waiting for this. We've been teasing who's it going to be. You've been making guesses. We said it's monumental. Yeah. And here they are. The goddamn Jonas Brothers. Yeah. They're here. <laughs> Kevin, Turns out, Joe, it's Nick. It's a real disappointment. Yes. Yeah. No. Right. Sorry, guys. No. Skip Sorry this to let you all down. No, yeah. uh, it was actually very funny because we have been teasing this 100th episode and uh, our fans are, they They're pay smart. attention. So we literally said we're going to Denver. They, people were tweeting Ooh. us your tour schedule and they were like, oh, okay. wow, it's looks maybe. like they have a show in Denver. <laughs> Wonder who your guest is. Got it. Oh, that's awesome. Kind of, yeah. Very, very intelligent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we all these things together that even we don't know mm -hmm. about our own lives. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. So finally, you guys are here. Um, this is been a long time coming for us, not for you guys. I mean, we've been wanting <laughs> a short you on time the show. coming for us. A short yeah. time coming Actually, for you. Actually, one of the first things I said when we talked about the marketing, the whole campaign was we got to do Chicks in the Office. Kevin, I that's did say that. so why you're our guy. Kevin, this is why we called you. We did a Kevin chant at the first show you guys did, did when you got that. back Thank together. You. That was what you wanted to ask. That's what I wanted to ask. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? You called us at the legends. Box. Yeah, I remember yep. it. Yep, at the box. We had to do it. Thank you. It was yeah. one of that was that was awesome. We have been to multiple shows now on on who's this been, tour. Who's been to, oh, I was going to say in general because I know. I mean, it's me. It's, 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 it's not even a question. How many, How many shows been, have you been to? Has it been? Um, I have never done the math, but if, if I had guess, to guess, yeah. I would say somewhere in the. 20-ish I don't buy that. I think you know the number. <laughs> no, I really don't. I, I think really, she does too. I really don't. I really okay. don't. Awesome. That's great it's that Because I've done, like, I've done, obviously, Jonas Brothers, but then I saw Nick a few times. I've seen DMC. Got it, got it, got so, like, and I oh, add it cool. all together. Yeah, it's it's a you pretty know what? high we number. We had Live Nation pull the numbers. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. We know exactly. <laughs> yeah. They're like, yeah. Francesca been Mariano has purchased like tickets for 30. 100 30 shows. Four shows. Yeah. Yeah. Fran, how many were you at this year? Um, well, we did The Box. We were at Great The Box. Times. We did, uh, I went with my best friend who has been my Jonas Brothers go-to fan, Claire. We went to Shout Philly. Claire. Yep, Shout we went. Claire. We went to Philly. <laughs> <laughs> Philly, MSG. I Philly went to the show. show. You guys did Philly's at Webster Hall. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, fun. Yep. I saw you there. I was right in front of Friends, you like, the I whole got time. right there yep. every <laughs> show. <laughs> I was just like, okay, yeah, hello MSG. again. That's so cool. Um, Hopefully we're at your show tonight in Denver. You said you didn't have tickets. I was yeah. like, well, I guess you're coming to the yeah, show tonight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we don't and, have tickets. Uh, let's see, let's see how this interview goes for yeah, Oh, right, right, right. Good. No let's guarantees. Pending. Yeah. Tickets pending. pending. Pending the interview. Yeah, and then I have tickets uh, no, in November for oh, New great. Jersey. Oh, awesome. Yep. Yeah. Good. Yep. <laughs> well, thank you guys for getting back together because yes. because of that, we have you here. And you're back on tour. Obviously, you've been to a few shows. What's it like being on tour now? Because you guys went from kind of just chilling out a little bit and now it's just very hectic every day. It's, it's a big awesome. change. I mean, for all of us at different points in our lives at this moment, uh, you know, the, the biggest, I think, kind of common thread is balancing our lives at home and specifically our uh, our families outside of our, our family as, as brothers. Right. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's new and takes some adjusting. But the reality is that we we build a community on the road of, of you know, the people we like spending time with. Um, we were really conscious this tour to, to make sure that the quality of life amidst everything else was, was, was high and that we were doing things that kept us inspired, that we were having fun, and also taking you know some, some time off within the tour schedule just to go and do cool things like this and, yeah. and making sure that you know we're conscious of the fact that our show is going to be better every night if, first of all, our, our relationships are, are thriving and that's our, our wives and his kids, but also you know, the people that we have around us, but also if we're inspired and doing cool shit. And yeah. that's kind of what's happening. Right. Kevin, how has it been for you? Because obviously it's a whole new kids thing. can't be everywhere you go. Yeah. It's, they're school, in school now. Yeah, she started kindergarten. Alina did. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's a change because they were with us all of August, which was really cool. Yeah. You know, for, this is the first tour they've ever done, we've ever done with the kids. It was definitely a different environment. My room was just a playroom. Yeah. Just <laughs> like full of toys and like fake kitchens and, mm -hmm. you know, right on we used to have the ride-on toys. We used to have like uh, segways yeah. in the backstage. Mm -hmm. Now it's just our kids, my kids, having <laughs> ride-on toys backstage. It's great, but it's definitely something to get used to being away from home. Because for like five years, I really was just kind of home, yeah. kind of living that life, which was amazing. And I'm so happy I was able to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. But now, having them experience this part of the world of what our world is is 
really nice, but also it's hard. I fly home as much as I can on, on like, say we have a day off, like not yesterday, but like a couple days ago, get up at 5 a.m., fly home, turn it around the next morning, you know, be home for 18 hours, but at least you're there. Right. And you got to do it and you got to put the time in, but it's, it actually helps me do a better job. Yeah. Right. It's all about the balance. Totally. The and two. it's, it's hard. There isn't much of a balance. We work a lot. We do yeah. a lot of shows in a week. Um, but it's so gratifying seeing the fans every night and they know what I'm doing and they're very supportive and they come out as much as they can. Yeah, I, that was what I wanted to get into. Obviously, your fans haven't seen you guys on tour in a very long time. How has the fan response been at the show? Is it what you expected? Is it more than what you expected? It's definitely more than what we expected. Yeah. I think when we put the initial announcement out that we were coming back, it was kind of immediate fans that were really excited. but. To find out that there were so many fans out there who maybe were like embarrassed to say they were fans for a long time or were secret yeah. about mm -hmm. it. Um, and to see those fans now realizing they were old enough to just love the kind of music that they love throughout high school years and middle school years. I think a lot of people, even for myself, I, I would have my CD player in, in the bus and I would have a collection of CDs that I would listen to, but everybody would see what you're listening to. Right. Now you have your iPhone, your iP you, mm -hmm. well, it was iP iPod and iPhone and doesn't really matter what you listen to, right? So I think people had that confidence to just be excited to be a fan of music. And so to see the gross, the amount of people that we've seen at these shows has been insane. I mean, we've had to add shows as well, which you guys are aware of, and it's been really exciting for us and overwhelming. And it's flying by pretty fast. We're already more than halfway yeah. through this year of the touring, but it feels really nice to do it Kind of on our, our own terms. I mean, that's the biggest difference of when we were younger was that things were happening so fast for us and we had no time to stop and enjoy our, our daily yeah. touring life. Mm -hmm. Like Nick said, we now we take the time to hang out with good friends and fly with them to the next city or just say, you know what, like let's go do a cool tour of Coors Light because we're big fans. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, and we actually do those things True. instead of talking about them. And yeah. so um, that's the biggest difference, I think. Yeah. So we are actually at the Coors Brewery right now. This and is really cool. It is, it is really so cool. Cheers. Really cool. Yeah. Cheers. 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 And it does. Cheers. Like, I just took another sip of this. And I'm just like, it tastes like we're. It just tastes good. It just tastes, tastes amazing. It's just shakes out of the office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And. You guys can I now. There. I like the new, like the new sub show. It's yes, yes. Chicks yeah. in the office. office. And yes. our first episode is with the Jonas Brothers. On your so, hundredth yeah. episode yeah. of Chicks yeah. in the office. Yes. And you're cool with making this happen. Yep. Yeah. Um, but now you guys can drink at the shows. Mm. Yes. You yeah. can drink yeah. with your fans. What's that like now? Because everyone's growing up. It was kind of shocking. You know, you mentioned the, the, the show at the box, which yeah. was which was the, I think the first show in front of an audience that we played back, and we came out and it was a, a small room. It was about so small. Yeah. Two hundred people. Um, and to be honest, we had had a few drinks before the show just to cut the nerves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we were, were nervous to get back. I had there. maybe more than a few. Yeah. And, Kevin, did you though? Because you fake the shots, no? He does not fake the shots. that <laughs> night though. No, you guys. I think you guys were taking real yeah. shots that night. I remember I you guys didn't did on stage. take any such thing. Yeah. <laughs> it did not happen. The reality is, we looked out and we saw, oh my god, these fans grew up miraculously grew up as well yeah we did they did and then you know at these shows the 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 happiness begins tour the bigger show um it's been really special to actually have that moment after this song of ours i believe where we talk kind of quickly about like our experience in a city or um you know how different these shows are now to when they were back then and the biggest difference at the end of it is that our fans are drinking and hanging yeah. out with us and you can tell these are people that that work really hard they're they're you know, in college, finishing college, right. or they're working adults who have spent their money to come to a show and have a great night out with their friends. Yeah. And that means the world to us, that they would take that time out, spend their money. And, you know, I know that when I go out with my friends and go see a show, I'm gonna have a drink and, and enjoy, and I'm, I'm so glad that we get to share that with them. And um, we obviously always encourage uh, responsible drinking. Of course. Of course, uh, everybody drinks And at our shows, it's important. But I think that, you know, it's special to, to be in a spot uh, where yeah. the fans have grown, and then there's this whole other new fan base because Sucker was, was you know, came out and I think people thought we were a new band. Those yeah. that were not even <laughs> yeah. born yet when we first started. So, you know, there's there's a younger fan base again as well, which is so great to see them learning the old music, thinking it's new. Right. And, mm -hmm. uh, you yeah. know, it's it's like a new generation yeah. of, of Jonas fans and it really means a lot to us. Yeah, it is great because it really is such a fun way to hang out. Like, I have a group of girls that I'm 
have become friends with literally just because we have all been fans for so long. We oh, go to shows great. together. We do that's this. awesome. So it's it's really fun. She's <laughs> Fran brought just like one time, just this girl showed up and I'm like, oh, who is this? And Fran's like, oh, I met her at the Jonas Brothers show. Like, oh, I was that's like, that's great. one of my. I was like, that's one of my friends at my Jonas Brothers chat. That's she was like, we, Fran, yeah. that's kind of weird. I was like, it, that's maybe. That's what we hear more than anything else is people that come in to meet and greet or won't meet up that just say, I've met some of my best friends just from yeah. being a fan for so long. And then yeah. the other part, which is which is amazing, is that. You know, the, the biggest learning curve for us has been, I think Joe or Kevin mentioned it, you know, I think back in the day, given the fact that we were in some ways like a, a, a boy band, even though we we play our instruments yeah. and write our songs a little bit different. Um, Not a lot of choreography. There was, there was some yeah. guys that I think were embarrassed to admit they were a fan. Yeah. But as you get older, like, like we all do, you start to become more comfortable with who you are. You're not worried about people's opinion of you. Right. And if you like a song, you like a song. Mm -hmm. Totally. And it's so great to look out and see guys come to the show with their friends, ready to party and have a great time, and enjoy music that they were probably embarrassed to enjoy back in the yeah. day. And we're kind of in on that joke with them in a sense of like, it's cool, enjoy the show, have fun. Yeah. We yeah. recognize you really wanted to then, and you're living your best life now. And we were catching yeah. word that like year 3000 and burning up Kind kind of became like college turn up songs. Oh, one hundred percent. You know, and so people like we who like yeah. were in college when you guys were at that stage of broken up. Like, yeah, you want to get a party going, you throw on your <laughs> your thousand, thousand. Everybody freaks out. <laughs> and I'll say that even our guy friends, like when we go to your shows, they're jealous. They're like, oh sh shit, should we buy tickets quickly? It's like, oh, I love that. Well, they should. Yeah, I remember they should. my they absolutely should. my little brother used to always laugh because me and my little sister have always been huge fans. And when Sucker came out, he texted me. He was like, friend. Sucker is a bop. <laughs> he was that's like, this awesome. is so good. Um, so it totally is. And then I want to talk to you guys about the set list because you have made like a fan request part of the show, which I think is really cool. Cause, and I think a lot of people go to shows of bands or artists that they've always been a fan of and they want them to play the new stuff, but they want to hear some of the old stuff. How did you guys kind of manage the balance? Joe, we I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I think we're going to say the same thing. We yeah. went to a Garth Brooks show. Okay. Is that the same thing? Yeah. Same thing. Mm -hmm. And so we got really inspired by his show. And if I don't know if you've seen his, that live show or if anyone out there has First seen all, it. I know he we plays were losing the our minds. We were losing yeah. our minds. It was, it was so amazing. But one of the show. best things Let's about be clear. It was Fran at a Jonas Brothers show. Let's be very clear what's happening. Yeah. And um, yeah, we made friends. We invited him to our work. Um, <laughs> so we freaked out because what we thought was so inspiring by that concert, and this was during the breakup years for us. So Nick and I went just as brothers, as friends to see this concert. We kept being like, damn, that's so incredible what he did. He does a fan call out moment and he'll ask people questions like, what's your name? Where are you from? What's one of your favorite songs? And it was impressive that he got up there and just started playing it. And any song from any point. Any in his song. Career. I mean, yeah. it's more impressive the fact that he could remember. For me, at right. least, that he could for remember you. all the lyrics. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Personally, I was like, that's really impressive. Yeah. But we we challenged ourselves on this tour, and we said we should try to do something special to make every city different. Mm -hmm. um, whether we play the same song twice or three times, because that's what we heard in the audience. Some people make signs. Some people call out, "Hey, please play this one." Um, and we tried to. Uh, also in meet and greets, we'll hear a lot of people request songs, and we'll be like, "All right, so we got like five today requests of BB Good, for yeah. example." And then if we feel like, in the moment, that's the one we'll play, so be it. Um, um, it's rare that we'll like try to really plan it out because we want it to be authentic. I mean, of course, there's a lot of songs. There's about 230 some songs we have now in our yeah. catalog, and we want to make sure we do it justice. So we, every once in a while, sit around and just play right. a bunch of these songs, just in case. Yeah. But we do feel inspired in the moment to just play them. Has there been one you guys messed up? Oh, oh yeah. I think yeah. I, sure. Yeah. <laughs> most of them. Like yeah. two nights ago, there was one, I think, that we were a little, like, I was definitely not fully prepared to play. <laughs> yeah. okay. And so at a certain point, you just I just stop. Yeah, and yeah, just yeah. Let, you know, let it go. We have about 200-something yeah. songs. It's a lot to remember. Totally. So we, we kind of set each one up with like, hey, we're gonna do our best here, but we probably won't just, get this You right. just go like this with a microphone. Here, sing, yeah, right, your right. turn. Just set them up for failure so that they're yeah. happy with whatever well, they whatever get. Whatever they there. get. Yeah, right. exactly. But the, the, Nick is saying that humbly, but the truth is he can remember every song, every lyric and play it yeah. on the drop of a hat. And also unfair. kind of expects you to do the same. Right. Mm -hmm. Which is not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just uh, exactly. Yeah. So it's one of those moments. Me and Joe were like, just like maybe you guys not remember this one. Like, come there on. was one time recently where we 
really just couldn't decide, but we were having a communi- uh, like a conversation with our eyes, mm-hmm. the three of us, without talking about it. Like we just couldn't decide what song we actually were going to play. It took like a little longer than it should have for us to select a song. When in doubt, we just played Just Friends. Yeah, I think, yep, yeah. That's the one. <laughs> yeah. too. It's a winner. Um, you guys mentioned your breakup years, and obviously you did the documentary, and it was mentioned that Nick, you broke up the band, but you also got them back together. Sweet, sweet redemption. Yeah. Yes, you <laughs> redeemed yourself. Um, what was it like trying to get everyone back together, and who was like the last person on board here? Uh, I mean, it, it was a bit of a journey, just because it, it didn't start with, what do you guys think? You want to give yourself a shot? It was, it was, you know, four or five years of just learning how to be brothers again yeah. after, um, you know, things kind of fell apart last time. Uh, and we had to focus on just our relationship and rebuilding and finding common ground outside of just the group and what we were doing there. So I think once we figured that dynamic out, it actually opened up the conversation in a pretty organic way where I first spoke to Kevin and he was on board. Uh, I had to work Joe a little bit more, kind of tease it and sort of yeah. drop little hints. And then eventually I just said, listen, man, I'm ready to do this again. I don't know if you are, but I think we could, could crush it. And yeah. uh, he was at first was like, no new music. I'll do it, but just play the old stuff. And then eventually he came around as well. And, you know, I'm glad he did because it's been a crazy year. Yeah. yeah, seriously. Well, we are too. You guys just had a new single come out with Diplo. The music video is fantastic. The it's only very funny. Uh, the only complaint I have is the song is way too short. Like I'm like, <laughs> it is a little, a little short. It, it is, is short. As far as songs run, I was like, what the heck? Surprisingly, <laughs> Sucker's pretty short too. Yeah, that, that yeah. is. You match them up. That like, is true. We that's made it why short. I've played Sucker a million times. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of our hope. Idea. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of the idea. But radio these days plays short songs. That's true. Um, and Old Town Road is very short. Yeah, yeah. Old Town Road yeah. is so small. Yeah. So Forty seconds. We try to. Um, we, we try to adapt to what was going on out there, but um, it was a fun collaboration. What yeah. was that like? Obviously, the music video was the idea of Diplo kind of filming your wedding and right. whatever the he apology. did. Apology. Um, Who, yeah. Whose idea was it to like so this do is, that? It's the story based about this song truth, is yeah. like yeah, oh, totally based on truth. Long. Yeah. The first song Nick and I wrote together since the band broke up in minds for. The Jonas Brothers was the song with Diplo. So this was like it's almost a tier, two-year-old song. Wow, okay. Um, and we've been working with him on this record for what well, feels like years and years, yeah. and just just trying to like, change it up here and there. And then all the personal things happened between us, where like you know he's filming my wedding, and and it was quite funny. And then it wasn't funny. Yeah. Then it was funny again. <laughs> yeah. And then it was just like we got to do something special for this video, and um, he uh, he obviously hacked us, and then started posting a bunch of stuff and. Um, that's why our hate love relationship with Diplo lives on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, were, love that. were you actually mad at Diplo? I feel like this is something everybody is wondering. Like, was it a joke? Was it? It's a little bit of both. Uh, we, I mean, I was pretty drunk the night that it happened, so I feel, I feel like it was just funny. And then I woke up, I was like, damn, everybody knows. Yeah. This is really great. Yeah, I blocked it immediately. <laughs> yeah, I was like, geez, Diplo, like the whole the whole live stream. But if you yeah, want to yeah. promote yeah. anything ever, just have him do it. Yeah. So true. Yeah. Without you knowing. I mean, it ends up being great for the music video. Mm-hmm. So that's, this, that, that's, that's great. Full circle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Full circle. And uh, besides the tour and your music, you're all working on separate things. We're here at... Coors Brewery, like I said. Um, do you guys want to talk about what you've been doing here today? Oh. Yeah, oof. I mean, this is very exciting stuff. We've been taste yeah. testing a lot of beer, but more importantly, we've been taste testing our beer. Our own dun, dun, dun. We're doing Coors Light. A, we're doing a collab beer. with Coors Light. We're going to do a, our own batch. bottled Jonas Brothers Coors Light batch. So basically, wow. you have to go find it. Okay. And So and it's not going to be like... It's going to be a, sca- it'll it'll be a it's scavenger. It's going to be very limited. Yeah. Okay. Limited, but it's it's one of the it, far more exciting collaboration to us than our Diplo. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Forget that guy. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah. Is this is our great. This is this Diplo. This, this is yeah, Coors Light. Yeah. Yeah. This tops most of our collaborations yeah. ever. Um, very exciting. You know, we like we said, we've been fans for a long time, and um, I think the thing that makes it it so great to us is is the fact that uh, you know we it, some of these relationships are sort of concocted and, and made to happen by the teams and agents and all that stuff. But this is like a really authentic, real relationship where we're just genuinely fans. Yeah, um, Yeah. all that Coors Light content that has been posted over the years has been truly authentic content, right. not just paid content. Yeah, so then to get to come here 
actually learn a bit, try to be a sponge and, and you know, just observe and, and kind of be wowed by all of it. And then also start the process of kind of bottling our stuff and getting it out there is really exciting amidst all the other amazing things happening. And, um, you know, I think this is one of those like things we'll look back on in, in 50 years yeah. and our kids will be like, wait, you did what? Yeah. 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 Uh, and I'm going to have a Coors Light bottle with my face on it. Yeah. Oh, for, I mean, I hope if you nothing, all have, if you nothing all have else good on happens this year. What it is. Yeah. The, the packaging is literally our is it, face. It's face on cool with the sunglasses in together? the Rockies. No, we haven't seen it yet. There's, there's a, I think there's a bottle of it. There's a prototype. We oh, we got to see it. Yeah. So limited edition, where can people get them? Is it just like kind of a race? Get them online. Get them online. Is that correct? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> you can get them online. And then I think select stores, right? Yeah. And select stores. Select, 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 states. Select, states. select states. Yes. We won't tell you what the states are. Yeah, yeah. We'll just have to figure it out for just ourselves. Just go everywhere you buy beer, and hopefully yeah. you'll find a Jonas Brothers Coors Light bottle. Yeah. Wow. If you don't, right. you still have delicious Coors Light. Yeah. Correct. And hopefully you send it to us. I don't know. And they, and if it's yeah. not there, yeah. and still buy Coors, Coors Light. Light. Mm-hmm. Coors Light announced today they're changing the name to Jonas Light. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Huge news. You breaking news. Breaking news. first. Breaking news. Breaking news. It's now called Their shareholder Jonas stock Light. just plummeted. Yeah. <laughs> so we just toured the Jonas Brewery. Yes, yes. exactly. Yes. And it was They've officially fantastic. handed us the keys. Yeah. Yes. Um, and so we went to the Penn State show. We went to Champs afterwards yeah. with you guys. Kevin, you weren't there, unfortunately. I, daughter's you first guys, day of school. Yes, you guys way more. Drank Villa One with my wife. We, we sure did. did. Drink Villa One, and which it's now we want to talk about. And she in stores loved you guys. <laughs> And we we love her. She was so excited today when I was like, you know, she was on the show. With them. She was, yeah, she on, was the on the show. Yeah, but she had a really fun night with you guys. Yeah, yeah I mean, fun. we. Champs does that to people. Champs is fantastic. And it was one of those things Shout where you, you meet guests and you think, like, oh, you hope they remember who you are. Mm-hmm. Like, and, and we interviewed Priyanka months ago. So when we were at the back bar, and I just yeah. kind of like gave her a little tap on the shoulder and was like, hi, like, I don't remember know if you remember us. us. She was like, oh, my God, of course. Like, so nice. So it was, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it was amazing. We had so she much fun. fun. Yeah. The tequila is fantastic. Tequila is great. Glad you like it. We loved, yeah. we loved it. And you can buy it in right New York now. New York. It is available in New York. We're starting to spread across the rest of the country. But uh, it's very exciting stuff. There's things happening on all fronts. Yeah. Everywhere. So much. Just, it's all so happening. Much. Um, all right, Rhea, I think you have a quick little game we want to do. I want do have do. a game. It's Fran against... The Jonas Brothers. A little trivia oh, here. A little Jonas I trivia. Like Fran will win. Super fan versus know. the real You're deal. Win. So we I don't just remember. I don't know. She, I, she like did not tell me anything. I swear. And she got her questions from her yeah. super fan neighbors. Kim and Kelly. Shout out to them. They yeah. gave me these questions. They're huge and fans. And I think they, I Kelly. think they might Kim be setting me up for failure. <laughs> yeah, they might be. Who knows? Um, all right. So are you guys ready? Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's do it How's this it way. How does it work? Um, I think just We're first We're not professionals, so we don't have cards and all that stuff to That's hand fine. you. Yeah, this so, is a podcast. This is a podcast. <laughs> I so prefer just, this version. Yeah. yeah. So When's the last time a podcast a was in the Coors Light brewery, though? No, Let's this is real. the first time. I, out of the I'm office. not sure, but this Jinx might be the out of the office. They're telling me first time. Oh, first time. So here we go. Here we go. This is monumental. First and last time. Chicks out of the office will ever be allowed here. So I'm going to read a question, and then I think just whoever blurts out the answer first. Okay, yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good? Okay. Cool. What summer 2006 movie did the song Time For Me To Fly play in the credits? Uh, Aquamarine. Aquamarine. No. Yes, Aquamarine. Got wow. it, Kevin. That was that was good. Did you know that? Nailed no. It. Well, we had to approve, I didn't know and that. And that sucks because I license. love Aquamarine. That too. The only, reason, the only reason I know I that is because that it was just on some random movie channel and my daughter HBO. said HBO. Yeah, my mm-hmm. daughter was like watching JoJo's more. in that movie. JoJo's in JoJo. Aqua Jojo. Marine. Emma Roberts. Emma Roberts and I'm, Sarah Paxton. Wow, Nick, that's yes. incredible. Who is also, he <laughs> Nick are, actually, who Aqua is Sarah Marine's Paxton, favorite who is also movie. randomly a she guest star Jonas. on Jonas. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right, back so, to the game, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough right, of yourself right. trivia. Let's okay. go. Yep. <laughs> Just saying. What day, month, and year was the first single Mandy released? Oh, no. Oh, no, my God. Oh, I got it. August? No. Am I right? No. Nope. It's March. Nope. Oh, I mean, should I just keep June? guessing months? April? No. No. Uh, There's only like October. seven left. September. November. September. <laughs> January. No. April, May, March. I mean, when you guys have said September? every month except February. the right month. Nope. I, I mean, Shit. I think you like you named every month. I said no. April, March, May? April, May, June. July? December 27, December. 2005. Wait, oh my what? God. Wow. That's a terrible time to release a song. Like, <laughs> yeah. The fourth right quarter? Right after Christmas. Like, right after Christmas. All right, no well, one cares. Wow. Shows why no one wow, bought Fran, it. Wow, Fran, you got to step I'm, it up this time. I mean, I can't believe you just asked me what 
day, month, and year Mandy was, okay, I, I mean, I'm uh, failing. We thought you were a fan. I know, I'm failing. <laughs> fan. This is going to be so bad, people are going to be like, Fran's not even a fan. All right, keep these going. Are, <laughs> and these are questions that two big super fans sent me, so I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm fact check that release. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got, that you does not feel right, because I feel like we would have gone to TRL just, like during the summer. It is right. You're right because we went to TRL in this in like January. Or February. <laughs> there you go. True. So it's we true. released it over the holiday break. Wow. Okay. Good. Okay. It's like I just brought news to you guys. Okay. Question yeah, three. Um, you guys had a team, Road Dogs. You played softball on the road. Yeah. What were all three of your numbers? Oh, I two. Know. 10, 16. Yeah, no, I wasn't no. remember. 19. No, that's wrong. 16, 19. 19. That's wrong. 19. I, was, 19. I know what number I was. What number, number were you? Two? I'm number two. What are you talking about? <laughs> number one. You're number, number one. one. Number Nick's wow. number two. So nine, 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 19. But Kevin. I switched my number. You switched your number. Once I got the other married. Dis- yeah, because, uh, ooh, I don't even remember. This is just turned into 19. trivia about the number. Change it. 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 Why was it eight? <laughs> Infinity. Right, eight, well, and I have learned, the pictures to prove it. No, 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 I get, it makes sense today. because the, we're all sucking at this. This is yeah. good yeah. question. Oh my God, we're these just, are pretty intense questions. These are. I mean, I, I'm actually pretty proud of myself. Kelly and Kim. Kelly, Kelly, and, Kim Kelly and Kim. Kelly and Kim knocked it out of the park. Wow. The, okay. Yeah, question four. Well, I mean, will really, I get one right? Probably not. Okay. Question four. I don't think you're gonna get this one either. <laughs> oh, is this the one you said none of us were gonna get? Probably not. Okay. okay. Great. What did Joe and Kevin dress up as at Soundcheck at Nassau Coliseum in 2009? Oh my God! See, Salt they and, went to uh, this show. No, That's ketchup cheating. Ketchup and mustard? No. Okay, we did that one. See, this is cheating. <laughs> like they went to that show. No, there's, there's no, no way, way to remember. Crayola crayons? Nope. Shit. Oh, should I just take a guess? Uh, nope. I don't know. I mean, I could go through the list of things I can kind of remember. I basically blocked uh, that period of my were life. Were we? <laughs> in my head. We broke up shortly after. Or, yeah, yeah. Some yes. sort of animal. Yes. Animals. Oh, okay. You're on the right path. Uh, were we? There's just, there's and so Nick did options. not dress up. Oh, he never, he never dressed, dressed up. up. No. He doesn't believe in dressing up. <laughs> um, were we? Ask f- him what his first Halloween costume was ever. What was your first Halloween costume ever? I don't think I had one. Oh no, no it was Mark Wahlberg. I just wore a backwards hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, there's well, just crickets, crickets. Yes. <laughs> 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 what was the answer? I'm so curious. Pigs. Oh, it's a good and I costume. also have the pictures. You know why? Pigs. We wanted to do the three little pigs for Soundcheck and Nick wouldn't put on the costume. Oh, that's there you not go. True. I was going to say, that's why I was the band gonna, broke my guess up. was going to be Musketeers, but then I was like, Nick didn't dress up, so that wouldn't make sense. Three little pigs. Yeah. 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 Fran, I, mean, I feel like I screwed you over. Uh, with you these really questions. did. I should have asked you to, like, give <laughs> I like me like, it. I should have rigged this. I should have rigged this a little bit. Even we're having a hard time with them. I have three more. Okay. Wow. Okay. What Grammy Award show were the Jonas Brothers nominated Best New Artist? So, like, what. Year? Year? Yeah. No, when they say it's like the oh. 40th oh. Grammy oh. Awards, yeah. 51st. Got it right. Okay. Finally. Not that I care. What year was that? 2008? Awards and eight? The Not Grammys and, yeah. yeah. Was that 2008? I don't remember the year. Uh, that was 2010, actually. 2010. Because it was, it was. Oh, duh. 2000, yeah. Two th- well, no. it was 2009. No. 2009. No, so it was year, 2008. No, it was it was the. I'm telling you, I was. I'm telling you, it's the cutoff period. We need a fact checker January. here. <laughs> yeah, it was 2009. 2009. But it was 2008. We were not. I wasn't married yet. Okay, so it was. But when when's the Grammys? In 2008. February, right? oh. February of 2009. It was, no, no, it was 2009 because then later that year I got married. Okay, okay got but you, you were nominated in 2008. I use that as my like baseline for like for everything you previously. Got okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, everyone. let's let's lock these out. BM before marriage. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> two more, two that, more thanks. here, real quick. Finish the lyrics. This is only between Joe and Fran. Let's go, okay. Fran. Okay. This must be a fast life. Okay. Reference. I am what I am. What can I say? Oh. I'm gonna be this way right up until my dying day. Finished lyrics. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I mean, I can now. I'm playing in my head. I, I know it. I got it. Let's hear it. Ladies first. I don't want to sing out loud. <laughs> it's okay. Sing it. You probably should. I, I mean, I'm flying through it, but I'm I'm not gonna be able to say it. I'm gonna try. Go for okay. it. Okay. So, uh, dying day. Um, can you say the lyrics again? Yeah. I am what I am. What can I say? I'm going to be this way right up until my dying day. And I won't back down, won't, won't turn, turn around. around. Nope. Next, no. like, nope. Not yeah. Yeah. Nope. I'll never change my ways. It's this not is Joe's verse. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm just, Hence why you haven't heard it in the Fender call out yet. <laughs> okay. Last question. What year did Nick say he was going to run for president? 
2040. Well, 20, 20, yeah. There it's it is. It's not even uh, an election year. I don't okay. Know. Well, so you're not The way the world planning. is going, you never know yeah, what's yeah, going to yeah. happen, people. <laughs> Nick Jonas can become president. <laughs> there you go. All right, all right well, we're, we're going to wrap, wrap up it up. the questions. Yeah, um, I think that's basically all the time we have. Thank yeah. you guys so much for doing Listen, this with us. Thank you, guys. This, this was, was very fun. So yes. much fun. Remember thank you to Coors Light. We'll be here for number 200. We would oh, love that. We're going to mark you down for that. Please don't. <laughs> Maybe 150. I don't know. Okay, 150. Mark it down. Cheers. Cheers. This Cheers. is going to Cheers, seal it. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you guys Thank again. you guys so the much. The world's most refreshing podcast. Mm. <laughs> yes. Not for French Montana, apparently. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not for French Montana. No.